Welcome to Room 6, a channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I've been asked to review Can't Walk, Too Drunk, the new full-length album from Vegas Locals, Wheelchair Mosh Pit. If you'd like to be reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my social media link in the description. While you're down there, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell. I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers by March 25th, which is the three-year anniversary of the channel, and every bit helps. Thanks in advance. This one has some surprises in store, so strap in, kiddos, because it's time to get rolling. Um, my teenage daughter says that was cringe. Is that right? Much like friends of the channel Crimson Riot, this band is unabashedly pop-punk and don't take themselves too seriously. Case in point, their album comes with a beer-scented scratch-and-sniff sticker that says it smells like the band. Don't let that attitude fool you though, there's talent and drive here and it's always nice to hear that combination. The album kicks off with an introduction that includes a surprise cameo from another friend of the channel, Scotty Dub. Remember I said there'd be surprises? After the introduction gives us the reason for the album's name, the first actual song is Midori. This song is a lot like the alcohol it's named for. A little sweet, a little sour, and plays well with others. With lyrics like, I can't believe it's true, you know I didn't mean to stay out late, I should go. You told me time and time again I've done wrong, but I'm coming home just like I said, let's make up. This one's a cautionary tale for anyone in a relationship, but partying alone. Reminiscent of some songs by Blink-182, the harmonies and call and response breakdowns in this song kind of force you to start singing along and bopping your head, making it the perfect first track. The second track is Girls Like You, and this one's a little different than the last one. How so? Well, for one thing, this sound is a little bit garage rock, a little bit early Billy Joel, and a little bit basic pop punk song. For another, there's more guitar work here and lyrics that seem more stubborn love song and less hope I don't blow this love song. To help clarify that last statement, take a listen to these lyrics. You look me in the eyes and I know we're through, but you can't stop the gruesome twosome, we're stuck like glue. Apparently, the singer just refuses to break up. Two number three is For You, which starts off with a guitar riff straight out of 80s rock like Pat Benatar or Brian Adams. Once the band kicks in, things shift a little into punk anthem land. The theme is still love based though, with lyrics like, You've been looking for me, I'm not around. I've been gone away for a long, long time now. I've been hanging out, I've been looking out for you. At exactly five minutes long, this is the longest song on the album. There's a respectful guitar solo as well, but unfortunately, it's a little buried in the mix. One more time is the next song, and this time the drums drive things forward while the vocals double the guitar melody. This one also turns things up a bit, bringing in more yelling as a counterpoint to the overlapping harmonies the listener has come to expect by this time. Belting out lyrics like, I hate how it feels to be the last thing on your mind, waiting for you to call whenever you feel inclined, saying that you want to go, but you will never ever know, I know that you ignore me on purpose. Make it clear this one's about frustrated love. Been there, dude. Sigh. Anywho, with a name like Bezos Pinata Party, track number five gets a little more topical and a little more oi punk. This one has Mosh Pit written all over it, and the band must have known it. Just as things get repetitive though, we take a left turn into Psychedelic World before a breakdown that builds back up for the big finish. Dipping a toe into classic metal for a minute with the sixth track, Let It Rock, it opens up with power chords and a kick drum, and this song is totally different than anything else we've heard so far. Just when the listener settles into the deep groove being laid down, things go a little kid rock with rapped lyrics by every member of the band like watch us now work it out like crossfit rocking around like we finally lost it catch this dope but please don't drop it you can borrow my style but you have to wash it it's a fun break from the norm and as the actual rock returns to finish the song off i'm reminded of some 41 alien ant farm and other bands in the same vein all i know is next returning things back to the radio friendly style of pop punk we were promised by the first track this this one's pure fun, with simple power chords and a consistent backbeat and bass line that drives the song forward while giving a nice canvas for lyrics like, All I know is that I don't know nothing, that I don't know nothing at all. 
People talk, but they don't say nothing. All I know is that I don't know nothing at all. Track number eight is the fashion-centric fall apart at the seams. Following the tried and true path of simple but catchy guitar riffs and repeatable lyrics like, but I'm stuck, I've lost a lot, now you know where I'm found, I'll see you around, I've learned, I heard it from them, so where to begin? I'm going all in. This song is another fun and poppy one with a hidden deepness that might be missed at first listen. Song number nine is June 2020, the shortest one on the album. Short and sweet, this one is pretty much summed up in one word. Party! Straight ahead punk rock and repeated lyrics are the rule here. And this one's another mosh pit builder. And just like that, it's gone. Track number 10 is Left It On The Car, and it highlights the classic and modern rock influences of the band musically, while the vocals remain a mix of pop punk and melodic harmonies. Lyrics like, ah, you left it on the car, you don't know where you are, you're playing my guitar, why don't you go home? Make this one another fun one to sing along with. Finishing up the album is Attitude, which is pretty much the perfect song name for a punk song. Introducing a little rockabilly to the mix, this one is another straight ahead rocker just designed to mosh to and get out some aggression. Fun Gangnam Style! With half the album being about love, and half being about fun, Can't Walk Too Drunk by Wheelchair Mosh Pit has something for everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll click the link down in the description to get your own copy of Can't Walk Too Drunk by Wheelchair Mosh Pit. While you're at it, click all their other social media links that I'll have down there, and click my social media link to reach out to me to be on the channel, or to support the channel, um, or just to, you know, say hi. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up there. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, really appreciate it, please click down there. As I mentioned, I'm really trying to hit 500 by March 25th, and, uh, well, I need, I need your help. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.